In addition to being able to share out your Wakelet collections, you are able to invite your colleagues and even your students to collaborate on Wakelet collections that you've created. Your collaborators, or as they're called in Wakelet, contributors, don't need a Wakelet account. Let's take a closer look at how you can invite others to be contributors in a Wakelet collection. So I'm going to open one of my Wakelet collections here on my Wakelet homepage. And this time, instead of going to share, I'm going to click on contributors. Notice that I have two tabs along the left. I can invite contributors and I can manage contributors. Under manage contributors, I can see everyone who is involved in contributing or collaborating on this particular collection. Let's go ahead and invite a few collaborators or contributors. So in the invite tab, notice that I have a few different options. I can copy the link to share this link with my colleagues or my students in their Google Classroom in order to invite them to join. I can also provide them with the QR code or simply give them the code for this particular Wakelet collection. Keep in mind that anyone with access to the shareable link or code can join this collection and make edits. I can also come up to the top here and click on via name or email. By clicking on via name or email, notice that I can choose from individuals I'm connected with on Wakelet and invite one of them to collaborate with me on my collection, or I can enter in an email of a colleague. Once Wakelet has determined that the email is valid, I can simply click add and an email will be sent to this particular colleague, providing them with the information to join the Wakelet collection when I hit send. All right, so we've sent one invite so far. Let's go back to contributors and let's take a look at how we can use the copy link or the code in order to join a collection. So I'm going to click copy link. Here in my Google Classroom, I'm going to create a material and I'm going to add the link that I copied. And I'll just put in the title, please join the Wakelet collection. Notice that here in Google Classroom, I can limit who gets this particular link. So maybe I only want Liam to have access to this particular Wakelet collection in addition to myself. So I go ahead and select Liam. If I wanted more students, maybe a small group of students, I could select the other students that I wanted to be part of this particular Wakelet collection. And I'm simply going to click post. All right, let's switch views to Liam's login on Google Classroom. And here he can see at the top of classwork, please join the Wakelet collection. And when he clicks to expand, he can see the link. When he clicks on the link, he's prompted to add his name. And notice that he now has access to edit this particular collection, adding more resources to it by simply clicking the edit button. And then he'll edit the collection much like we would edit a collection as a teacher by simply looking for wherever we see the green plus in order to add content. Last but not least, we can also invite collaborators or contributors by giving them the Wakelet code. So I'm going to open the collection again, click on contributors, 
And this time I'm simply going to copy the code. Now I could email this code to a colleague or provide this code to my students along with the web address for wakelet.com. So let's go back to Liam's account. And this time we'll go directly to wakelet.com. Notice instead of signing up or logging in, there's a link to enter a code. The student or your colleague would click that and they could simply paste in that join code and click join. Once again, they'll be prompted to add their name. And click add. And once the collection has loaded, they will have the ability to click edit collection and add more resources, a wide variety of resources to this particular collection. Let's return to my Wakelet account. Again, if I go to manage contributors, I can see who all has been invited as well as who has joined to contribute to the collection. Notice that I can always remove anyone that I do not want to have access to the collection. And if I go back to invite contributors, I can always generate a new link and code to change this up and prevent others from being able to access this particular collection to edit or collaborate 